been two years. How are you now? I have a story to tell. ang nadagdag sa mga kaso ng COVID-19 sa Pilipinas. Kaya lumampas na sa 6,000 ang COVID-19 cases sa bansa, batay sa tala ng Department of Health as of 4 p.m. kanina. 29 naman ang nadagdag sa mga bumaling, kaya 516 na ang kabuang bilang Worry, ng mga nakarag- fear, no work, and no schooling. Yes, this was never normal. I didn't even know exactly how each morning would be. How alive with this crisis? How? How am I going to be that free and connected to my family? I thought it was the worst. The number of Filipinos testing positive for the coronavirus is rising by the day. It reported its second case of the disease and the country's first novel coronavirus-related death. I was afraid, knowing that I was alone. But I realized that it was a challenge I need to overcome. Scientifically, this planet we're leaving, this earth, won't make you feel you're alone. Just look at around you. There are so many things you can do. Maybe this is the time to connect more with nature. to bond with the people that matter and to create a connection between us, the people of the community. Maybe we just need to learn something to care and to be responsible. Balik na sa alert level 2 ang Metro Manila at ito pang lugar sa bansa simula sa February 1 hanggang 15 ayon sa IATF. Inanunsyo rin ni Acting Presidential Spokesperson at Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nogales na kasama sa mga nasa alert level 2 ang Batanes, Bulacan, Cavite, Rizal, Liran, Southern Lake... For almost two years, My life changed in a snap, also my perspective. I was wrong when I said that it was the worst, because it changed us for the better. This change created the more resilient quality in us and interconnects each living creature. From this breaking, shattering situation, hope shines in between. It's been two years, so how are you now? I was a girl alone at home, but never alone into this battle. So if you ask me what's next? Well, certainly, persistently, gonna survive this year like 2022.